the best 10 things on the internet. Number two. The internet is the spirit of technology. The spirit is awareness of other than the self and good communication with other people and giving information such as in dreams. And the internet, since it's a vehicle for transfer of information over distance, it's, it's like the spirit of technology. And the 10 best things on the internet, part 2, starts with 11 writing, publishing, distributing and printing and selling books and the best websites to do this on the internet are CreateSpace, Lulu.com, Smashwords, Fastprint.net, Blurb.com, Print on Demand Worldwide and Lightning Source which is part of IngramSpark.com and CPI Print and there's also Vistaprint for printing t-shirts, flyers, business cards and mugs and if everybody in the world would write a book and writing a book became as popular as having a university certificate and degree this means that the 10 years or more that people have spent in schools they can condense it into a book and return back some of the most important uh, things they have learned this would give a large database of books for that would help research that would help politics and peace and preserving local history and communicating knowledge that could help medicine, science and technology. And if writing a book is, is, is not easy, then on the internet there are resources to help you write, edit, publish, print and sell books. And these include thecreativepen.com and publishingacademy.com and the works and books and videos and websites of Dan Pointer. 12. An important and most popular part of using the internet is being able to communicate with people and uh, this especially in the in has been quite popular and this includes uh, what are called messengers or um, such as MSN and Yahoo where people would use their emails to pop up a, a communication screen with their friends and where they would use different colours and or pictures or small diagram of smiley faces to communicate with their friends. Uh, there's also chat rooms where people would chat and discuss different things and there's forums where people who have info important topic they they want to communicate information or they have questions about certain topics and there's forums such as royal forums where people discuss royalty of the world there's forums where people such as the Long Community Hair Forum where people discuss growing long hair and how to maintain long hair. There's Shia Chat which is a famous forum for information on Shia Islam and there was Sunni Forum which was also a large forum and discussion board on Sunni Islam and there's also Pal Talk which was an, an audio or video and, and audio chat which was very popular and and many of the people on YouTube at the moment they uh, they are using YouTube as if it's a pal talk where especially the people who write comments 
and they write comments such as um, that are more suitable in PAL talk where people would a person would speak up using an audio they will take the mic and, and speak and there would be a video of them sometimes and people would reply to them on on the chat part of the PAL talk and there, there was a, an interaction with the speaker as is the program design of PAL talk however in YouTube people when they put videos on YouTube they've decided this is the what they want to give it's not discussable and the comments should be towards giving more information than what is given in the video or making constructive criticism or helpful tips uh, on the video however the, the interaction and personal comments especially if they contain hate or harassment and abuse they're, they're not acceptable uh, as part of general human laws of communication and and they must be stopped and therefore people should when they know the right program and the right website they will find it more useful and to their taste number 13 the most important things on the internet include search engines and these search engines they're connected to many websites that other people make and when you search on a search engine it can give you a website where you can find more information about what you search for and the best search engines are google.com however there's also yahoo and there's ask.com and ask.com is an old search engine and used to be called askjeeves.com and a, a good s search for the Quran and the content of the Quran is islamicity.org forward slash Quran search it's, a, it's an excellent uh, search engine on the Quran in English number 14 number 14 an important part of using the internet especially modernly is making blogs and blogs there's websites for blogging where people write a blog or a note or they give information about their life or a topic they know about or their travel journey or it's like a diary where they write important things and knowledge or jokes or events that happen to them or places they've been and the best websites for blogging are blogger or blogspot and wordpress and number 15 on the internet there's also a large database of pictures some of which were, uh, were taken by professional photographers and people can use them in their work with permission or if they buy a license a copyright and the best websites to do this are Fortilia and Shutterstock and there's also Morgfile which is free where you can use their pictures and on, on your work and you don't have to pay for it because it's free number 16 one of the most beautiful and joyful experiences on the internet is to buy something from the internet and have it delivered to your home and this is especially important with rare things antiques or things from other parts of the world and looking for buying things on a cheaper price than the high street or buying something that is um, not found on your local shop and buying from the internet uh, the best websites to do this are are Amazon obviously and eBay that I'm, that I mentioned but there's also you can make your own shop you can make your online shop, you can start a business 
and you can start this small business on a small budget where you can register for an online shop and sell your products and people will order them and pay you the money for them and you will send them the product using the post to anywhere in the world if you wished to make it into if you want to sell or internationally and the best websites to have a shop an online store are Shopify and there's also an open source e-commerce and these are where you don't have to pay they're free and they, they're open source that means a lot of people a lot of designers even not from their own company they have contributed to make them better and therefore they're quite they have large um, diversity of such as the designs or which programs and and how to sell or have coupons and 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 think and and ways to pay and 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 take money from from the customers and the best open source e-commerce shops or stores online are open cart and the best is obviously Zencart. And if you want resources and information about how to have your own small business on the internet and start an online store or shop, there's Steve Shu who has a blog called MyWifeQuitHerJob.com and it's for real, his wife did indeed quit her job and she started an online linen wedding business and which is very successful and Steve Shu himself has became a millionaire from his blog and therefore they, they, he has a lot of resource they have a lot of information about encouraging you to start your own business and small business and becoming an entrepreneur and about how to find products to buy how to promote and market to your shop online how to organize your shop how to attract customers how to take money from the customers how to return products and how to sell online generally number 17 one of the most important resources on the internet is information and the most useful is obviously information on how to make things how to do things how to understand new things and this is in online courses and the best are Lydia.com who has a large database on courses with videos with teachers teaching how to do things such as Photoshop and InDesign complex graphic programs um, with editing facilities for books and pictures and videos and they have parts of their courses are for free so anybody can watch them but you have to pay to watch the whole courses however it's it's very useful resource especially for people who have not studied computers or internet at school or university and they want to catch up with their skills on using computer programs and using the internet to the best of their ability to produce high quality work for people and another courses online are seekershub.com who have free online Islamic courses that teach basics of Islam and understanding of Islam the laws of Islam and Sharia and understanding the Quran and the history of Islam and the biography of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and there's also obviously the Open University who have a website and in the Open University they have um, it, courses that are, can be compared to university degree styles of education and level of information and quality of knowledge and there's also the writersbureau.com who have courses and information about writing and publishing books. Number 17 buying uh, an airplane ticket or a, an, air, an airline ticket 
to go on holiday or to visit family or to travel for business or work or education. And the best websites to use for cheap flights are skyscanner.net, expedia.co.uk and cheapflights.co.uk but obviously each airlines they also have their own personal uh, websites where you, you can buy tickets directly from them such as Emirates, British Airways and EasyJet and American Air Flights and Airlines. Number 18 one of the most entertaining parts of the internet is watching movies or films online and the, there's been a controversy obviously about watching movies online because of copyright and plagiarism and and such tight laws on on films and movies and therefore websites started where people would pay to watch movies they would have a, a monthly subscription and they would allow them to watch as many movies as they want or have them be sent through the post as DVDs and Blu-rays and or watch them online and at high definition and this is one of the most popular ways of watching movies uh, on the internet and the best places to watch movies and films on the internet especially Hollywood blockbusters and Hollywood movies are Love Film which is now part of Amazon and Netflix which is very famous and they have applications and programs on smart televisions where you can directly watch the movie from from their website onto your smart TV and there's also for Bollywood which are Indian movies uh, which are famous around the world for being very entertaining they have musicals they have romantic and action movies and a good website is erosnow.com as for Arabic movies and films and Egyptian movies especially there's rutana.net which has a, a TV channel that is called Rutana Cinema and there's Rutana Zaman which has black and white old Egyptian movies and these websites they, they have access to um, to movies and films on the internet without worries that any laws are broken. Number 19 buying food from the internet and this is not just groceries or your shopping such as from Asda or Sainsbury's or or, or the cooperative but rather buying fresh food such as takeaways and the most famous and most popular websites where you can buy a takeaway from your local takeaway you would pay you will choose your food online and you'll pay them online and they'll de deliver it to your door from your local takeaway shops such as Indians or fish and chips or burgers and the best websites are Just Eat and Hungry House Number 20, the most important resource on the internet is information and especially fresh information and important information about the world and keeping date with information and reading can not only keep you up to date with the world but can improve your reading and your language skills and can And information, you can also communicate with your friends and so that when you speak with them you know what they're talking about, the things in the world and you can also tell them things that they do not know. And the best resources and websites on the internet that give a lot of good information are Reader's Digest New Scientist, which is about science, technology, medical knowledge. The Guardian newspaper. The BBC. 
the New York Times, AOL, which also stands for American, America Online, and MSN, which is part of Microsoft, and Al Jazeera, and they have an English TV channel as well as their famous Arabic channels which have a lot of good information and news from the Middle East and there's Reuters which is very reputable in journalism and the media and there's for medical information and this is especially important since people say a lot of medical information that might not be true such as coca-cola will erode your teeth and that if you do not exercise and lose weight you will die and sometimes it's good to have information from medical resources from doctors, professors and a good resource for medical information is the bmj.com which stands for the British Medical Journal and it's a, a magazine on, on medicine uh, that is popular with doctors and medical students but it has the latest information on medicine and any important experiment or new knowledge about health and obviously there's also the health ministry of, of, of the government who communicate information and knowledge about disease prevention and a good correct medical knowledge that would save lives and prevent death and there's also Hello magazine and they have an online website with a whole section dedicated to royalty, world royalty and the British royal family which and therefore Hello magazine and OK magazine they're very useful for keeping up with information with world royalty and especially the British royal family and with this I these are the 10 best things on the internet part 2